What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Radcast. I'm Andrew DiMolata. My friends call me Rogue Leader. And I'm Nikki DiMolata. Everybody calls me Demi. Oh, fancy. All right. All right. <laughs> Like we've been starting on everyone like this. Yeah. <laughs> Tired. Tired. <laughs> yeah. Just got off over another cold. Yeah. I mean, everybody's pretty much good now. Like. Yeah. It it did suck that we we're all sick for Thanksgiving though. Oh yeah, that was our last conversation. Mm-hmm. Think you know, hopefully everybody's not sick. We were. We were. But we were well enough to, I guess, still go. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think we infected anybody <laughs> else. It was just my parents, really. Yeah. So. And they seem to be okay. <laughs> so I guess we're okay. Still got a little phlegm in the chest. You can actually hear it when I laugh. And, and yeah, stuff, we but. sound like we've been, you know, smoking a couple packs a day for the past <laughs> five years. It's gross. <laughs> Anyways, but like we promised last week, we're going to shift our focus to... Oh, well, I wouldn't call it a guilty pleasure, right? Is it a guilty pleasure? No. Not really. I mean, maybe back in the day, mm-hmm. like when we were listening to it however many years ago and everyone yeah. was like, oh, it's so lame. Oh, yeah. embarrassing. Now, I feel like it's... It's kind of trendy. It's trendy. Yeah. That's a good word for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. K-pop. K- K-pop. Yeah. Because I remember you introduced mm-hmm. me to it when we first met. Mm-hmm. And back then, I really didn't like tell people that I listened to it mm-hmm. because if I did, they'd be like, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, that's the looks I got because I listened to it all through high school and stuff and they're like... What are you listening to it's like yeah it's k-pop yeah like it's yeah not th- it's not like some crazy thing it's mm-hmm. like exactly like what we listen to here mm-hmm. except it's what we listen to here just there yeah so it's not like it's some weird thing but yeah you would get people that would like make fun of you poke fun mm-hmm. and like k k-pop what yeah. are you lame like and now it's like the cool hip trendy thing mm-hmm. uh, which I say it like it's annoying, but it is kind yeah, of. It is because like. But also, I'm glad that it has become so mainstream. Yeah, yeah. So. It, there, it, you know, I don't like gatekeeping any any of my fandoms yeah. or anything, but it's like people are like, oh, because the two. I think the two biggest groups or acts or, or artists that you could say are probably the most popular over here are BTS and Blackpink, right? I think Blackpink was big for a while. Yeah, I think really they, big. they still are. Yeah, but um, yeah. I feel like BTS is more so right now. Yeah. But then again, I'm not like following. The trends. And, yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not like we don't have cable. And yeah. um, so I don't know who's most of the, appearing yeah. on what. Yeah. Most of the trendy stuff that we usually pick up on is social media, TikTok and stuff like that. If it shows up on Twitter or TikTok yeah. or something, that's usually how we can mm-hmm. keep a pulse on what's popular and whatever. Yeah. But if people are appearing on like The Late Show with Jimmy Fallon, we don't know. Like we don't Because we don't watch that shit. Yeah. No, so. Yeah. But when I got, in, the reason I got into K pop was, of course, Taekwondo. Korean friends introduced me to the Korean culture. Yeah. So, and music was a big part of it. And we used a lot of Korean music in our demonstrations too. That so, makes sense. Yeah. So that's why I started listening to it. And like back when I got into it, it was, it was artists like, what was the big, the big one for me? Shout out to Justin. Yeah. He had it. Yeah, I think I said it on one of these shows before. Like I had a, a massive celebrity crush on Boa. Oh yeah. Like, it was... like to the point where when we first started dating, mm-hmm. I remember we were visiting your parents' house and mm-hmm. uh, we were in the car with one of your best friends, and he was like, and it was one of the first times we were meeting mm-hmm. he and I, and he was like, "So Nikki, are you ready to accept Boa into your life?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, I'm aware." Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> yeah but, but before that it was like Shinwa, finkel was a was another big group I'm trying to think of any of the other ones oh. soteji soteji was well he and the boys soteji and the boys so but there, a lot of the songs were kind of like older songs sometimes but then when you want to start picking up on a new rain rain was seven a, seven was another big one god who else was there uh, Lee Jung Hyung was another one that we used a lot of her music in our demonstrations. Well, she did a lot of techno stuff. Mm-hmm. She was, um, if you've ever played Dance Dance Revolution, you've probably oh, yeah, no, heard she songs was, by her. Yeah, she was big in, into that 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 space. Um, God, what else was there? Shinwa was probably another huge one aside from Boa. That was like those are my two. Yeah, was, was Boa and Shinwa. Yeah, I was just saying it to you the other day, mm-hmm. like what I wouldn't give to have like my old PC from. 
I would love to have my old PC from when I was in like high school mm -hmm. and actively in college because I would love to get it. Cause that was back in the day when you would like download your music. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like nobody downloads music iTunes. anymore because yeah. it's, all, it's streaming all streaming now. Yeah. But like that was back in the day of like LimeWire and what was another mm -hmm. one? Uh, LimeWire and uh, Napster. Yeah. I never used Napster. I used Napster, LimeWire. Yeah. Napster was the, the big like, like. I feel like that was the first one that broke on the scene. Yeah, and it had it was like the controversy oh, of Naps of uh, Napster and like music companies suing them over oh. downloading music and sharing and stuff like that. So, but that was back in the days when you would like download your music, mm -hmm. and I definitely did that a lot. And so I would love to. Mm -hmm. I would love to because so, like sometimes I make like a streaming playlist on like YouTube Music is what I the main thing that I have right now, mm -hmm. which I'm. It's all right. It does. We got to find a different way to listen to music. But what's annoying is that if you put something on your playlist mm -hmm. and then it, that video or whatever gets removed or blocked or copyright violation, mm -hmm. it's not on your playlist anymore. And like, I would go back and be like, content gone. And I'm like, oh no, what song was that? Now I'm missing a song. I don't even yeah. know what song I'm missing. I can't replace it now. So I kind of miss the days when we actually like downloaded yeah, the I music. Did, I did like iTunes. Yeah, I had it was, iTunes it was very, library. It, it, yeah, like the, I never was, had an Apple computer in that time of my life, but yeah. I still had iTunes. But what I wouldn't give to time travel back to high school mm -hmm. and college and get a look at my music library from back then, ooh, <laughs> because I had some bangers mm -hmm. in my library. Yeah, I did actually did get physical media for like my two big were, were you know, Boa and Shinwa. I actually bought physical media for that, for like mm -hmm. CDs and their album releases and stuff like that. That's the kind of fan I was. Yeah. So well, CDs were a big thing back in the yeah. day. I remember having CD wallets. <laughs> oh my God. Like those were a good time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish I had. Wow. Because my mom had a, a big CD. I don't even know what you call it. A, a book. wallet. Book. Yeah. And it would have the little sleeves that you'd put your CDs in. And yeah. And you'd flip through and be like, I think I want to listen to Boys to Men today, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I do miss those days. But because speaking of wishing I could go back and look at my old libraries, yeah. I would love to see some of these other, you know, groups and soloists that you're talking about that we just can't think of in the moment. Yeah. God, they have to be somewhere on a hard drive or something backed up somewhere. I don't know, man. There, there, was, like a, there were some great artists that, um, God, Flight of the Sky was another one that they, they didn't yeah. sing so much like poppy songs. There were more ballads. I'm, I'm, not so much into ballads. Yeah. There's that I mean, sky. every yeah. so often. I don't know. I don't want to listen to music to feel sad. To Anyone was another big group that you were into. I mean. Not into, but you had a couple other songs. Yeah. <laughs> um, God, yeah, there were so many, like a lot of SM artists were in my library just because yeah. of the, the, you know, the two, two that I listened to. But Would they, you say that Bowl was your gateway? Into the world of K-pop. Boa was probably my my gateway into being like, kind of like not obsessed with the with like. I think Shinwa was probably my gateway to it, but I really started to getting into K-pop with Boa. I think yeah. she was she was, yeah. I would say she was my launching off point, but my gateway was Shinwa. Mm. So that's what that's why Shinwa and Boa were my my two big big things. I, I'd always have every single one of their songs. I'd like be on forums like when's the new album coming out <laughs> being on forums yeah oh, man kids these days will never know yeah they don't they won't know because um, now you just follow them on on your socials and like because like boy just dropped a new album yeah so no my gateway was girls generation definitely mm -hmm. oh yeah that, that was another that was, that was one that we both got into yeah i think um if you've well i mean I feel like if you're into K-pop, you mm -hmm. would know about Girls' Generation. But mm -hmm. if you haven't heard of them and you're curious or whatever, I think the one of the first songs that I probably ever heard by them was G. G. Such a good song. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, you're not going to get more poppy than that. Yeah, that's like the if you the quintessential like K-pop K-pop like cute cute girl K-pop song. Adorable um, poses. Mm -hmm. You know when they have their like close-up shots on yeah. the camera like i do remember watching something on youtube like they were known for like winking a lot oh yeah especially tiffany yeah like i think they, they made her do like how many winks you can get in like 20 seconds oh, i like... remember that <laughs> yeah like i know exactly what video mm -hmm. you're talking about yeah no uh love them mm -hmm. love them to this day no way we will replace the girls for us no no uh they originally started out with nine members yeah and then unfortunately you know, 
whoever, I don't even know if anybody actually knows what happened. Creative differences, winky winky. Yeah. Um, one of the members got, I don't know if she was, I don't know if the, uh, if it was presented as she left. Am I? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. I feel like I couldn't hear myself for a second. Yeah. Maybe I just passed out for a second. <laughs> but um, I don't know if she was either removed or that she <clears throat> left. I'm not sure. But um, she went off to start a solo career. And then also I think she's into like acting and she, I think she has a fashion brand. Modeling. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like so many K-pop artists act. Yeah. Are yeah. they sing, they act, they have skincare and makeup yeah. endorsements, you know, all sorts of different yeah. side hustles you know but yeah no girl generation huge place in my heart love those girls um yeah no mm -hmm. if you want i would say uh, and that's probably um I, I don't really know that you can say that we're dating ourselves because it's not like we've been listening to it our whole lives yeah i feel like it's funny i feel like where we like k-pop is almost frozen in time with where we like our music. Yeah. Early in 2000s, late 90s. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that was kind of the K-pop music that we liked at the mm -hmm. time. So, I don't know. I just, I feel like they are one of the, and I, I could be talking on my butt here because I don't live there and mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I would love to ask like a person in Korea yeah. who consumes this stuff. <laughs> like, do you agree that Girls' Generation is like a cornerstone? Mm -hmm. of the k-pop industry yeah because that's, that's the way i perceive it from over here yeah so i don't know boa absolutely absolutely i feel like she's the queen of k-pop you would have i don't know again you know, talking from talking as our, stupid americans uh, from our perspective you know? boa has been in the music industry for like since 2001 long when time she went long like early 2000s and she's still making music mm -hmm. so it's like like she just dropped a mini album like a, a this day ago week yeah or something yeah so still going strong, mm -hmm. and Girls Generation they they dropped a little mini album or whatever in the yeah. last six months to six a year. Months, yeah. I forget when it was like a reunion album type of yeah. thing. God, that, that's weird. Like a reunion album for for the girls. It's like what? Well, one thing I think yeah. is funny about the K-pop scene. Oh yeah, <laughs> is that you know here, an artist makes an album or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Hey man, new album dropped. Come get it, mall." Yeah. And but. And like after that, they, you know, they move on to the next one and mm -hmm. whatever. But with K-pop, it's like we dropped an album. OK, now we're going to tour. Now we're going to do probably pu publicity things. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to appear on shows and yeah. whatever. And then however long until the next album comes out, a year, two, three, I don't know. Yeah. They come out with another album. It's like, it's our comeback. Yeah. It's like, you didn't go anywhere. You didn't retire. <laughs> That's just the gap between your albums. But I feel like every new it's album like, is it's their comeback. comeback. Our comeback tour. <laughs> like, did you retire or something and like, we didn't know about no, it? No, it's like we've seen you in variety shows throughout the year. <laughs> I don't know. I just always thought that that was funny that it, it seems yeah. like every new album is their comeback. <laughs> but... But there's um, been pretty good music lately that we've like newer songs that we've been really enjoying. We've been actively trying to seek out new things so we're not frozen in time. Yeah, in our own little, like we like, are with our own American music. Yeah. Because music on the radio, first of all, I don't listen to the radio. I don't drive that much anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm being honest with myself. Um drive but, to the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> when I do drive, I don't listen to the radio. Yeah. Every so often I'm like Maybe it's good now. And I'll turn it on. Nope. And I'll like flip through my five or six presets or whatever. I'm mm. like, still hot garbage. Never mind. Because 75% of the time it's the DJ like, <laughs> hey guys, happy morning to you. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to listen to this. Like, I feel like my commute to work, mm -hmm. it used to be like a 20 or so minute drive. Mm -hmm. I feel like 18 of those minutes was listening to the DJs. Mm. Oh, that's because it was like Johnny's house. Like it was on in the morning. So I don't care about listening to Johnny. I want to listen to mm -hmm. music i don't want to hear johnny talk about his weekend i don't want to hear the dj talk about anything other than hey, here's your next song so <laughs> uh too much talking on the radio too many commercials yeah and then the music sometimes mm, well it's the same like five songs kind put of. on a loop that's basically. kind of the way the radio always has been yeah. let's beat the piss out of something good until we all hate it you remember gundam style oh. yeah God. God, I remember the first time we heard that song. It was, That's a great topic a, to talk about. Yeah, That, I think, okay, so if, if you're living on this earth right now and you're above the age of 15 yeah. or so and you don't know what Gangnam Style is, I don't know what rock you've been living on. Gang. 
Gangnam, not Gangnam. What? People oh. say call it Gangnam style. It's like Gangnam style. Yeah. Well, Americans. Well, they see the romanization. Yeah, and it does I, I, I don't like blame it, but it's like listen, actually listen to the song how he says it. Yeah. And, and like an interview is Gang. Uh. <laughs> Gangnam style. Stupid Americans, you know. <laughs> but um, okay, so I don't. I feel like a lot of people know it's Gangnam style, but I don't know if they know that Sai is the guy who sings it. Mm-hmm. He is hilarious. He's, and I think yeah. that he's an incredibly popular singer in Korea. And um, he's had way more hits than just Gangnam Style. Oh, that's yeah. all, that's no, all there's been some... people here would recognize him for. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like he may have unknowingly done a lot of the heavy lifting of opening that gate yeah. for K-pop to infiltrate into the U.S. Mm-hmm. And for that, I thank him. Yeah, but there was, I think, in 2004 when I was into it, like, I remember hearing something on YouTube and, like, there's, it was like, oh, they were, the music was, was slowly coming over. Well, the Wonder Girls were trying to come Wonder over. Wonder Girls, Rain, really Rain was popular for a little bit. Um, <gasps> 2 p.m. 2 p.m. They didn't, uh, you just made me think of 2 p.m., yeah. but 2 p.m. is another artist. It's a, a artist, a group. A, a group. Five guys? Um, Six guys. Six guys? Three singers, three rappers. Yeah, six guys. Um, that we love, and I mm-hmm. feel like they probably could have done well in the American timing. market. It wasn't the right timing. Because yeah, Bola tried to make an American. She had an American album. She did. I remember that. And just didn't really all hit. English songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it is really all about timing mm-hmm. because I feel like Girls Generation could have if they would have adjusted their their sound a little bit to maybe not be mm-hmm. quite so. They tried to make an American you know, album too. Yeah. And it's again, it was just kind of the style of music and the timing of it wasn't like yeah. the best. Had things happened for some of those artists now, mm. I feel like they would have been more receptive yeah. to them. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think like in 2004 when I graduated and I just got into college, there was this thing called the High U Wave. The Hall U Wave? Yeah. yeah. And it was like this wave of Korean culture making its way over to the West. And yeah. it's like, and then it la- didn't last very long. No. And then it was, and it was like, well, as soon as it got really popular, it swelled. And then it was like, oh. Well, because back then it was still yeah. like K-pop. <laughs> yeah. What a lame Yeah, but to back, back onto your point, when Psy did that, it was such a, it was a quirky, it was a fun song. It was a really good quirky song. Quirky dance. Quirky dance. Funny r- music video. Ridiculous music video. I think that's really popped with why it came so popular. It was like, look at this crazy Korean it's guy. Ridiculous. Look at him yeah. dancing. He's like yelling at a girl's butt while she works out. Yeah. And like, and, it's hilarious. And the one thing that I do remember when we were watching that video for the first time, it's like, oh, it, it, it's a, uh, it's. Yeah, Jaysok. Jaysok's in there. And there's a whole, whole bunch of other like Korean celebrities sprinkled throughout the video. And like, Americans look like, oh, look at this guy making a funny dance. And it's like, do you realize you realize you, that's the nation's MC? Yeah, so do you know who that guy is? Yeah. He's so. like, probably again, outsider looking mm-hmm. on the inside. But you, Jay Sok, I, I, I imagine, from what I can tell, he can't walk anywhere without being recognized. I think he is referred to as the nation's MC. I, I feel like he's probably one of the most well known personalities, personalities yeah. in, in the country. Mm-hmm. Could be wrong. But that's the way I perceive it. The guy does. He has like a million shows. He, t- he, he does. He's like he doesn't stop working. And we mentioned that uh, my favorite show of all time is Running Man, which a Korean was variety show. The reason we got into Running Man was because of the girls. You right. Remember that? Because like, oh, they 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 were guests on the show. I was like, we got to watch this. Yeah. And, and we're like, wow, this show's kind of fun. Yeah. And uh, UJ Suk is like the, the main ho- guy main on host, it. Yeah. He'll say it's not like his show, but it kind of. It kind of is. Yeah. It kind of is, but it isn't. But he's just too humble. Yeah, because there's been personalities that left the show, and it's like, yeah. uh, it's, so if you just like ever left Running Man, yeah. it would be. I don't think it would be the same. But true, but um. Anyways, he is massively uh, oh, yeah. well known and popular, from what I can tell, and he was in that uh, Gangnam Style music video. And I'm just like, are you people, you people don't even realize the royalty you're looking at right now? <laughs> like, he's hilarious. He's the nation's MC. But I do feel like Psy um, opened a big door. Oh, yeah. That it just, it, walking through it for the rest of some of these artists, it just was a little delayed. Yeah. Because I forget what year Gangnam Style came out, but it was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was like 20, not 20, 15 years ago. Oh, my God. No. Um. 10 years ago. 10 plus years ago. I'm so popular i just realized my phone's not in here 2012 i thought it was earlier earlier than that yeah but 2012 so 10 years ago 10 years ago um july 15th almost the almost 10 and a half years ago good lord decade ago jeez i remember watching that video the first time 
Yeah, I remember your Again, friend, not gatekeeping, but like we saw it before it popped off. No, I remember sitting in yeah. your friend's, and we were at your friend's house. We were in his bedroom. He was like, you, I need to check out this ridiculous you know, music video. Yeah, I think the only reason we saw it is because he was hanging around with uh, an exchange student. Yeah. One of the, he, there's like three. Ella. Co- yeah. Three, three uh, Korean exchange students that he was hanging out with. And yeah. They're like, oh, you got to see this video. It's, it's, it's so, crazy. It's crazy. The song is so good. And we're like, oh my God, it is so great. Yeah. And then it popped in America and in everything that we, like, and everything, like we always do. We just beat the piss out of it until do. everybody hates it. Yeah. It's just what we do here. I remember, I remember when uh, we got married, we had a, a do not playlist. Yeah. And I remember putting Gangnam Style on that. I was like, do not play this song yeah. at our wedding, please. I know everybody knows that we, that we love Korean music, but I just don't want to hear the song anymore. No, because it just, I don't know. Yeah. It just feels gimmicky and whatever. Yeah. I do still enjoy the song. Oh, yeah, no, no, the song's great. when it was at its height of like having the, its death grip on us as, yeah. a, as a nation, it was like, okay, wow. We get it. We Everybody likes the song. Yeah. We get it. And that ridiculous dance and everybody, yeah. oh, God. His newest song is so good, though. That, that. That, that oh, is we've, so good. We've only I listened to that, that song about 10,000 million times Partially because our daughter loves it. Our daughter loves that song. But I love the song too. It's so good. The first time I watched it, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> like, I highly recommend if you're, if anybody's listening to this and you are any at all curious about any of these songs, look up That That by Psy, P S Y. And um, oh, yeah, I saw it. I was like, what are, we're in the Wild West here. Okay, what's going on? Yeah. And, um, some of the dance moves, I'm just like, yep, this is the this side. is typical Psy. Yeah. And it was the first time I watched it, I was like, okay. I listened to it again. I'm like, all right. And then I think I made you listen to it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I kind of really like yeah, this song. No, it's the same thing. I was like, oh, that was okay. And then I kept listening to it. And then I remember like on weekends when we were getting for our friends, like when the queue was just like yeah. waiting. I'm like, I'm going to listen to this song. It's, it's pretty really, good. It's a really good song. I'm listening to it on a loop. On that note. In that song, That That Was Psy, mm-hmm. another young artist is featured in that song who goes by the stage name of, well, no, okay. I'm not going to no, no, do no, that. No, 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 Okay. A guy from BTS yes. is well, featured well, Yeah, and while we're on BTS, we didn't hit, like like we said, there's like, you know, when a song hits yeah. and, and it is played over and over again. Sure. Dynamite was, was one of those songs. Oh, yeah. And I actively, Everywhere. I actively avoided it because I didn't want to have- You want to get ruined. I didn't want to get it ruined. So I like, I, I just didn't listen to it. Yeah, uh, I feel like um, on the topic of BTS, because mm-hmm. I feel like that's where we're headed right now. Yeah. Dynamite and Butter. Mm-hmm. Those are two I actively like avoided. Two tremendous hits that they've had over yeah. here. And they were yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I feel like Butter was on like a Samsung commercial. Yeah. And you would just hear it constantly, mm-hmm. constantly, constantly. And um, then I finally listened to it because our daughter listened to it. And I was she like, really this likes is Dynamite. A really good. This is a great song. Yeah. So much that I wanted to do the song of the summer, <laughs> the failed, the failed video that I tried to get made at celebration, but nobody. I knew it wasn't gonna it, happen. Yeah, I had, like I kept telling everybody, like, "Oh yeah, cool, no, let's do it. Yeah, let's do yeah. it." And then you just couldn't get anybody together, and I d- didn't bump into as many people as I wanted to. Yeah, and it's like, well, no. As soon as we thought about the idea, I was like, "No one's gonna do this." It was such a great idea I know. too. It'd been such a fun video. I know, but people are shy and they don't want to dance on camera. Yeah, so you know. Unless they're actually dancing. Because I was obsessed with doing this video for like the two weeks leading to celebration. I'm like, this is going to be so much fun. Mm-hmm. I really I really want to get everybody into this video. Oh, yeah. I knew it deep down in my core. Yeah. I, like, I, I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. But I was like, I was like grasping onto hope. Yeah. Like the rebel I was. Just like, please. Nope. Didn't happen. Anyways. Um, Sorry. Our daughter loves mm-hmm. Dynamite. Um, she loves that, that. Mm-hmm. And um, when I first heard dynamite mm. i'm like okay okay all right first heard butter and it was like you only hear mm. the snippets that you hear on tiktok that's another weird thing that about kind of ruins songs sometimes yeah that's the weird thing about music now and i'm speaking of course as an elder millennial mm-hmm. that doesn't really listen to the radio yeah music just really isn't our thing sometimes well speak for yourself yeah well for, for me yeah. um but the thing i find interesting is that on tiktok you can get exposed to new music Mm -hmm. um but you're only going to hear like that 30 second clip yeah and you're like yeah this is a fat beat you know Mm -hmm. let me see what the rest of the song is about and then you look up the rest of the song and you're like oh i hate every other part of the song (laughs) other than the part that i hear on tiktok (laughs) so it's like an interesting thing and i also feel like i saw at one point 
I don't remember his name, but there was some artist, some singer or rapper or something. Mm -hmm. And he had a, 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 a sound on TikTok that was like super viral at one point. I could not for the life of you even just like mm -hmm. tell you what the first letter of his name was. I don't remember, but he had a clip or a sound that went, was like super popular and it had words, you know, mm -hmm. that people could sing along to. And I guess he had a concert and people, I saw a video of people at this concert mm. and the part from TikTok played. And everybody in the audience is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're singing along, sing along, every single word, everybody knows. And then mm. as soon as that TikTok part ended, the crowd went silent. Wow. And he was up on stage and it was awkward as hell. Because he's like trying to hype up the crowd and yeah. then the TikTok clip ends and then he's like, and nobody knows the rest of the words of the song. And I was like, wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> people, well, first of all, he's the one laughing in the end because people pay to go to his concert yeah. because they like 30 them, yeah. seconds of his song. Yeah. How dumb do you have to be to go to a person's concert and you just know 30 seconds of their song? <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, it's it's interesting TikTok's effects on like speaking of music taste. Speaking of concerts and live performances, you want to have fun. Go to a K -pop. go to a K pop performance because it's like you, we've never been to one, but I would love to. We're just watching videos online, like their parts. They're they're like it's like the crowd rehearses for it. There's they're like, like part chance, of the performance. Yeah, like, there's certain chants that happen at certain parts of songs. And like, I'm how like, do you, how do you guys all know this? Yeah, did you have a meeting before the performance? What happened? It's incredible, and yeah. like there's like. I think they hand out like at the old generation, they, yeah, they hand have, out like pink lights. Yeah. And, um, Balloons used to be a big thing too. And I just yeah. feel like the the uh, energy is electric. Oh, yeah. Like it's crazy. I'm not a big concert person anyway. Yeah. Been to two in my entire life and that is two too many probably. <laughs> They're fun, but I was also 16 and 18 at the yeah. time or something like that. Not my scene. I'm good. I'd rather sit in my home than have my ribs broken by somebody who's getting a little too rowdy <laughs> down in the pit. You know. A, what, what, what was that? At uh, Panic? Was it Panic? Um, I don't, the only two concerts I've ever been to is Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco. And I'm pretty certain that somebody broke one of my ribs at the Fall Out Boy concert. Oh, I think. it was Fall Out. Yeah. So, two bands. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a sore spot for me. <laughs> Pretty big source, but <laughs> anyways, anyway, moving sorry. Moving on. Um, I prepared a small BTS quiz. Yeah, because Nikki's army now. When I first listened to a couple like be, uh, Dynamite and Butter, I was like, okay, cute, catchy, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't really know that I get the hype mm -hmm. because they have become so massively popular here. Yeah, it's wild. And only recently have I been like, let me listen to some of the other songs. I feel like my gateway into BTS mm -hmm. was that that because yeah. Psy features Psy one of, working magic. Psy features one of the guys from BTS in that song. And I was like, yeah, I dig this song. This is nice. Now I kind of want to go to the Dynamite video mm -hmm. and, and, and see which one he is. And then I went and I watched the Dynamite video and I'm like, oh, OK. And OK, that's got that guy. it. Um, and I don't know, it just kind of uh, got worse from there. And now I'm like, That's usually I'm, how it happens. I'm newly enlisted in the army, if you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. You know, every I feel like every artist has a name for their fandom. Yeah, I feel like people I feel like American artists have that, too, because yeah. like Taylor I mean, yeah, Swift it's... has like her Swifties. Ugh. Yeah. Um, sorry if you're into Taylor Swift, but. Um, oh, dog barking. Hello. Um. BTS's fan base is called Army, mm -hmm. um, and I'm. Is it uh, Gaga? That's the monsters. Her monsters. Something like that, because I think they. She's like mother. Yeah, it's remind. Sorry, I just I thought of a TikTok that that one person. They just Gaga and Gaga. <laughs> you heard that audio? I gotta show you. It's, it sounds familiar. Yeah, it's like there's four different types of Gaga. <laughs> Depending on the mood, you go Gaga, Gaga. Okay, that, that sounds one. familiar. That sounds familiar. People have been doing that with like lightsabers and shit. It's it's really funny. <laughs> had to be there <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah i think I, yeah so yeah people yeah. here do it too but yeah army is the bts fan base newly enlisted recruit here welcome to me uh but yeah i'm t i totally get the hype now yeah uh they're fun whatever their music's good 
and um their variety show that you watch every once in a they while they have a variety show that's much kind of much like but kind of like running man. running man it's basically running man just only with them it's called run bts so it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind basically of a, running man with bts guys towing that line a little bit but yeah no i absolutely love them now and uh mm-hmm. that's the end of that so i was like listen I'm going to give you a quiz now because whenever there's these multi-member groups, it's always like, how do I keep straight? Yeah. Who's who? Because a lot of K-pop artists from video to video, their their looks will change drastically. Yeah. I'll have orange hair in this video, blue hair in that video, pink in this one. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's that's when people don't know who was like, you know, girls generation. It's like, how do you tell them apart? It's like. I can tell them apart by voice. Exactly. So it's like I've, we've gotten to the point where we can, yeah, yeah just picture. hear them and be like, okay, yeah, I know who's singing that yeah. part. Oh, there's Sony. There's Jessica. Mm-hmm. There's Hayon. But yeah. and at first, I was like, God, there's nine of them. How do you know who's who? Yeah. Especially when they're all wearing that same outfit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, there's just nine ladies here, and they're all <laughs> singing and dancing the exact same. <laughs> what do I do here? <laughs> but um, then you listen to a couple songs and you watch their videos, and then you're like, oh yeah, yeah, there I you know go. who's who. Now I know the my voice, mm-hmm. but BTS, I don't know where the picture's going to be. Maybe here. Yeah, I'll put it somewhere um, here <laughs> and I'll highlight them as we, as we there's go along. But seven boys in this band, men, seven men, seven boys, the Bangtan boys, you know, um, let's just get to it. Okay. I so you quiz couple. me and then I'll quiz you. Okay. On what? That's just general questions about, about, about your guys. Word. Okay. <laughs> um, listen, I'm not like some. No, it's just like no one every facet. I don't know their blood types and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's another thing. Like fans will know. I know how many centimeters types. tall they are. I know their blood type. I know how many kilograms they weigh. I know their their zodiac sign. I know their like, zodiac man. sign. I know their favorite food. Like, their favorite dessert. Yo. Like. Yo. I don't even know what my own favorite dessert is. <laughs> I don't even know my own blood type. <laughs> I know that drives me insane. I, can, I know I my can call my type. I can call my doctor up and find out, but I, I really want to know. Personally, I don't know my, my own blood type. I really want to know. I know it's bad. And it's, I also, it's very bad. I don't not know knowing my own blood type. type. I need to know hers. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, that's uh, there, well, because I know that there's a there's a, thing. there's a thing with like compatib like romantic compatibility with blood types. And I think like, it's oh, like I don't like people that are A B negatives. You know, crap like that. I don't know that much. I don't know their birthdays and shit like that. Maybe I'll get there. <laughs> but anyways, let's start out with names. I only know. Would you like me to give you a name and then you point out who it is? Well, let me, let me well, just... you don't. How many of their names do you actually know? Two. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Sh- Sugar. Okay. Is. And what's the other name you know? Uh, Jimin. 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 Okay. Because it. Because we used his name for to remember the pilot of that one. Oh yeah, one thing that's right. Jim Arm, Jim Jim Arm, Arm Map. Jim Arm Map. Jim Arm Map. HC four one two zero. Jim Arm Map. Yeah, he piloted the tank on on uh, Jetta. Jetta. The H. The, hold on. Uh oh, gonna do this to yourself. TX two twenty five, GAVW Occupier Combat Assault Tank. That's the one. <laughs> Waiting forever for that question to come up. Still got it. So, <sighs> um, I was waiting. Waiting for that question. Never fucking never, came. Never fucking came. But yeah, so I know the, those are the only two names I know. Okay. And so I, let's, uh, let's start with those two. So I, I think. The one that I. Because I know Jimin. 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 Hmm. Jim is the leader, right? We'll get to that question. Okay. So. I The only one that I am confident that you can pick out mm-hmm. is Shuka. Yes, yes, that is correct. So well, he'll be the first one that we start with. You got that one right. One you point know, for Andrew. You know that one. I know that one. Because you've watched that that 10 million times. Yes, because I love it. <laughs> yes. So I knew that you'd be able to pick him out. Didn't he? Oh, side note, he did produce the song, right? Yeah. He wrote, wrote To my understanding, it. he was brought in to help produce the song. He never once thought that he would be involved in it. He thought he was just writing mm-hmm. or producing. And then like Psy was like, kind of slowly but surely was like, well, you can... Well, that was a smart move, though, because he's like, if you're like, yeah, okay, cool, like one of the BTS guys wrote it, but you bring him into the song, it's yeah. going to hit because BTS is huge right now. So I guess he thought that he was just going to produce a song. And the mm-hmm. next thing he knows, he's like rapping and like in the video dancing next to Psy. And he's like, how did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you got, no to Psy. Right. you got Sugar right. Mm-hmm. Um, Real name? It's not Park Chae Sang, right? Park Chae Sang is Psy. Psy, yeah. Cause they say it in they say it in the, the the song. Yeah, I mean I'll just settle with the first name. I don't know. Yoongi. Yoongi. 
All right. Another thing that I think pe- that Americans do wrong because they don't realize that they go last name then first name. Yeah. Because it's like, uh, you Sok. It's yeah. You is his last name, right? Well, because is, a is good first. example was we were watching Running Man, mm-hmm. and there was an episode that came out when some Mission Impossible movie came it was out. A, yeah, uh, Rogue Nation. And no. so they had Tom Cruise, Henry Cavill, mm. and the other guy. Uh, Simon Pegg. That's the one. How do you first Simon Pegg? He's in Star Wars. I, <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I forgot that he was the same guy. I yeah. could see him in my brain, but I just I didn't. Yeah, didn't register. Um, and so, you know, them being, well, I mean, Henry Cavill's not, American, but like yeah, he's British, yeah, but, but like them being of the more Western mindset, mm-hmm. like one of the cast members' names on Running Man is E Kwang Su, but when you write it out like Romanized, it's Lee, Lee Kwang, Kwang Su, yeah, and E Kwang Su is last name, first name, mm-hmm. first letter or syllable is last name, then the next two are the first name, mm-hmm. and instead of calling him. Kwang Su, because that's his name. His name yeah. They must have seen his name written out on a paper. And when they addressed him, they called him Lee. Lee. And it was like, well, you're kind of just going, hey, Johnson. Yeah. Get hey, over here. Hey, Dean Melanta. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, which is not like bad, it's, it's not but bad. it's also kind of like, seems kind of like, yeah, do your homework. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you're like producer should have done their homework for you. Yeah. Understand that that Lee is his last name. Yeah. yeah. So. Or family name, because it was family name, then your first name. Right. Your first name. So you got Suga Yungi. Mm-hmm. Now tell me who Jimin is. Pak Jimin. I think I did this before and I just couldn't remember. <laughs> is it him? Which one? That one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Two for two. Good for you. All right. Now you're going to get fucked up. Yes, okay? I'm going to get real fucked up because I don't know anybody else's name. Okay. <coughs> I'm just going to. I don't even know which ones are the singers or which ones are the rappers. That's one of my next questions. Okay, tell me who, tell me who J-Hope is. Oh, boy. Um, I think his real name is Hosok or something like that. um, What was his name again? (laughs) (laughs) J-Hope. Is it that one? Wow! (laughs) Wow! did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Okay, good job. Yeah, I think, wait, Hoso, I think is his name. Mm-hmm. But they call him Hobi because like Hope, J-Hope, Hopi. Mm-hmm. I think it's adorable. Okay. Another thing I love about Korean culture is like, I feel like cuteness mm-hmm. is a big thing. Mm-hmm. And I feel like dudes, not afraid of being cute. Yeah. And it's not, like, it's not like emasculating. Mm-hmm. It's Because here it's like, I don't do that shit. I'm a man. But I love that this kind of thing is becoming more normalized. Mm-hmm. And if, you know, K-pop artists are the one to usher that new era into our yeah. nation. Listen, I, I think like there's certain things that certain cultures do really well. Yeah. Um, Japan, you know, anime and the whole like, oh, like Japanese is such a, like a aggressive, aggra- especially when older Japanese men speak. It's such like a always sound angry, always sound angry type of thing. Koreans know how to do cute. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, a guy or a girl. You, you Koreans know how Top to be cute. Top tier cute. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Moving on. Tell me who is RM. Oh, actually. Stands for Rap Monster, which I, I don't think is a name he's excited about anymore. Real name is Namjoon. Is it him? Whoa. No, wait. Point. Point again. Him? You, that's Jimin. You already pointed that. Oh, him. I did. Oh, yeah. I, I did I? I did him. Yeah. No. No. Is it him? Yes. Oh, damn it. Okay. First one. I was going to say, you already voted. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, no. Okay. First thing. So, mm-hmm. name him as I point him. Sugar. Mm-hmm. Jimin. RM. J-Hope. Okay. So, those are the ones I already picked. Yes. Okay. okay now, point out Jungkook. Not to be confused with that's Kim Jong Gook. Yeah, that was another name that I was like, oh yeah, I'm familiar with because of Kim Jong Gook. Well, because he's Chong Gook and he's Chong Gook. Chong and Chong. Chong, not, not Chong. Chong. Okay, this is another thing that. There's a there's some very slight pronunciation. Very slight. It sounds difficult, but like I, I remember hearing that like Korean is kind of like one of the easier languages to learn because well, it's so systematic. It is. Yeah. I I taught myself how to read it. I just mm. don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. I can at least read it. So, uh, is it him? No. No? Damn. Which one is it? That one oh, right there. Damn. 
Okay, so my 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 choices are now narrowed down to these three guys, right? I, I no, I think all you have left is him and him and him and him. Okay. Okay. All right, so just give me both the names and I'll. Okay, one of their names is V. Mm-hmm. He goes by the stage name of V. Okay. And one of them is Jin. Suck Jin. Oh. Suck Jin. But he just goes by Jin. I had two two friends in in uh in Taekwondo, Sung Jin and Sung Gyu, called the older brother Jin, called the younger brother Gooey. Adorable. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking cute. <laughs> but yeah, you got Suk Jin, who goes mm-hmm. by Jin, and you got V, whose name is Taehyung. Very is that cool. V? No. Damn. That's Jin and that's V. <sighs> you got like half. I get uh, you got like fifty percent ish. Yeah. Not not too bad. Not terrible. All right, not too bad. All right, so you got their names. Mm-hmm. Now give me who is the oldest. Oh, oh, I was usually wrong about this because usually in like big groups like this, the oldest member is the leader, mm-hmm. and the oldest member isn't the leader in this group, right? You remembered. So who's the oldest? Which one is the oldest? Oh, I think I know this one. Um, isn't it? No, because no, he's the leader. He's not the oldest. Uh. So I would say based off of looks, but like Asian genetics is messed up. I mean, uh, is the it, skincare alone is, is just. Is it him? No. No? Who's the oldest? Jin is the oldest member right there. Oh. Jin was born in 1992, and he's the oldest. <laughs> All right. Boy. Now give me the youngest, or in K-pop terms, the makne. The makne. Who is the youngest? Like my, like my soul baby, makne. Yeah. Yeah. Who is him? Th- no. Damn it. <laughs> Jungkook. Really? Is the youngest. Oh, okay. And he was born in '97. He was '97, kid. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost ten years younger than me. Oh my god. You can hear my smokers long a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear when I laugh. Uh, <coughs> yeah, no, Chongguk is the youngest. Wow. 1997. God help us. Who is the leader? If not the oldest one. I used to think Jimin was the leader also. He's not? He's not. I thought he was the leader. I thought he was Who too. Who is? RM. Really? He is oh, the okay, leader. Yeah, that's yeah. Yep. No, I always thought Jimin was the leader because watching Try Guys videos. Zach would always refer to himself as the Jimin of the Try Guys, so I just always figured he was the leader. Oh, because he would always another, make that joke. That's another thing. Again, I don't mean to gatekeep yeah. fandoms, but it's another thing where like somebody would like get really into it, and then they like, they, they talk about the group. It's like oh, and Emery said one thing. It's like oh, they they're f- one like probably the first group to fuse pop and rap. It's like no, not at all, Zach. I I know you love this group, but a, a thing that I always wish like, when people would get into Korean music is. Branch out, search yeah. for more artists because you love, you clearly love the music. Yeah, Look, search for new artists, and you'll realize they're not even the first to do it. No, a lot <laughs> of these groups, if not, I don't want to say all, all but yeah. so many of these multi-member groups, there's usually the rapper. rappers and singers. Yeah, even some of them dancers. I'm like, yeah. yo, you all dance. Why yeah. are some of you dancers and some of you are not? <laughs> like, you'll look at their names and it's like, this one is the main vocalist. This one's the main rapper. This one's the main dancer. They all fucking dance. Well, no, like, look at the girls. She, uh, Hyoyeon yeah, she is, is the lead dancer. The dancing queen. Yeah. She was... I got a soft spot in my heart for her. Okay. So you got... We got the leader. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, we were going to ask you who the main rapper is and who the main dancer is. What year did they debut? I have no fucking clue. Um... I think it's earlier than we think, right? Earlier than I w- than you would think. Let's say 2009. 2013. 13, really? Wow. A year I after it was Gangnam Style. Oh, wow. Crazy to put that into perspective. Wow. I think they originally debuted as a hip-hop group. Mm-hmm. Um, they have some crazy-ass dances, though, too. They're really good at dancing. Yeah. Okay. So looking at this picture, you've got... Hold on. You've got... Two, three. You got three rappers mm-hmm. and four singers. Which three are our rappers? Well, uh, obviously, RM is the rapper, right? And I already forgot which one is RM. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I think he's a singer, right? No. 
He's a rapper? That's RM. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he's a rapper. Rap monster. Damn it. Okay, so he's the one. So there's four rappers? Three rappers. Three rappers. So that's one of the rappers. Yeah. sugar has got to be a rapper, right? You kind of got to pass on that one because yeah. he raps in the side video, yes. And then I got one more rapper, right? Yep. Is he a rapper? No. Him. No. Damn it. Him? Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense because they have the rappers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so look at the, that. Yeah. So, yeah. So Balance. Right. Powerful good, powerful light, powerful dark. Um, yeah. So then these four, these fucks are the, the singers. But excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk about our boys that way. Um, I don't really know mm -hmm. if there's like a main rapper <coughs> and a main vocalist. Well, because. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not that heavily, I'm not that far into it. If I had to guess who the main vocalist is, I think it might be Jungkook. Hmm. And if I had to guess who the main rapper is, I might guess that it's RM because he's the leader of the group. Hmm. I don't really know though. I'm probably talking out of my ass. Yeah. Um, who has the nickname Worldwide Handsome? <laughs> Handsome? What? <laughs> I thought that was the funniest nickname. Ever. I think he, I heard you w talking about this. WWH, Worldwide Handsome. Isn't it? <laughs> Is it him? Yeah. Well, I already forgot his name too. Jin. Jin. Sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, he says he's worldwide hand. Well, I don't think he's. I think mm -hmm. he was. I don't know if he was given that name or if he came up with it. But in either case, that's his like nickname. Who is known as Mochi because of his cuteness? Oh, fuck me. Um, him? No. No. <laughs> Damn it. Who? Jimmy. Oh, okay. Those are the only questions I wrote down, but I'm sure that there's like 10 billion more that could be asked by somebody who's okay. totally more into it. So, okay. What is your, so questions for you. Yes. What is your favorite BTS song? Right now it's Idol. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I could listen to that song okay. over and over and over again, as we do here until we hate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I, I self -inflicted. stop before I get to that it's, point. It's self-inflicted. So it's, I know it's, it's my a pass. limits. Who is, Again, terms in K-pop, who is your bias? <gasps> oh, that was going to be one of my questions for you. Who do you mm. think? Okay, but wait. I have like four biases. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you because that was the way it was for, for Girls Transgress for a while. I was like, oh, I Which really Which four like do you think I, I like, like the best? Him. Which four? Yeah. Him? Yeah. Sugar? Because of that, that, that mm. was the video that made me fall in love with him. Him? Yeah. Him? Yeah. And him. <laughs> wow. Good job. So Good na name, job. Name them off because I don't know their names. So you're so Suga. Mm -hmm. Love him because of that. That. Mm -hmm. Jimin. Um, I'm trying to think of if there was a certain video. Mm -hmm. I probably, I probably really fell in love with Jimin at the Idol video, mm -hmm. and then V and Chungu. I probably fell in love with them in the Dynamite video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was wow. Yeah. Good job. My man knows my taste in men. <laughs> Is it because they look like me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't say that. Wow. <laughs> take a little sippy pie over here. <laughs> I'm impressed. Hmm. <laughs> a little awkward sips. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay, so what is your favorite dance? Like out of all of their like, which which dance do you like the best? I love Idol because I really? love that one crescent kick that they do in it. Because Running Man had that one segment oh, where yeah, they learned the they choreography, learned, yeah. and that was what prompted me to look up that song. I love how I can like think of how I got into certain things, mm -hmm. but like, yeah, that made me look up the song Idol, and I just love the fact that they have like a crescent kick in the middle of the song, and I'm like, hell yeah! And I don't know, I just <laughs> Get I really it. I really like the choreography in that song. That's absolutely my favorite song mm -hmm. and music video right now. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's your least favorite member? Ooh. Aww. Oh, you, you, I honestly, mean, not, not, like, not, not like you know, I, I hate this person. It's like who who just like you just don't like. It's not that I don't like them. Yeah. I feel bad. Like he's never gonna fucking see it. <laughs> but like <laughs> I, <laughs> I would I would probably I feel like initially my answer probably would have been J Hope mm -hmm. because I feel like he seems uh, when I didn't, uh, when I didn't before I even watched their like any of their show or how they mm -hmm. interact with each other, I thought that he was out of place. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. 
But now that I've I've like watched their show, I'm like, nah, he's cool. I think I think that unfortunate title has to go to Jin. No. Oh. Mr. Worldwide Handsome himself. Oh. I don't know. Who do you I don't think know why. who do you think gets the most unnecessary flack? Sugar. Really? Why? Everybody from what I can tell, mm-hmm. and again, I'm not like super like it probably sounds like I am, mm-hmm. but there are people that their life revolves around knowing every minute detail mm-hmm. about <laughs> their favorite group or whatever. And you mm-hmm. know what? That makes you happy. Knock yourself out. But um, I feel like from what I can tell, he's got a really quiet personality mm-hmm. and um, kind of reserved. And I think people perceive it as being cold and standoffish. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there's a lot of people that think he's like a dick okay. because if- he's quiet and, and okay. If you could spend an afternoon with one of them, <laughs> oh no! You have to pick one person. Who do you? Like, it's not only that you would you would want to hang out with. Who do you think you would you would have the best time with? Hmm. Who would you vibe with the most? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh no, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I know them well enough to answer this. Mm-hmm. Based off of what you've watched, and you know, I think that. It would be hard to say Chungguk because we're like ten years different in yeah. age, and I'm I would be I'd I'd be concerned that somebody ten years younger than me I'd be yeah. like what do I even I mean you might talk surprise sometimes about? yeah no definitely yeah um a lot there are sometimes when age plays a big role and other times where it plays no role at all yeah it depends on the person um I think maybe I don't know probably. Probably, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Okay, you get to pick two, two. So like two guys that you think you would have a really good time with if you spent the afternoon with them. At let's like Disneyland or something. Let's say Jimin and Chongu. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fun to go to Disney. Uh, yeah, like a theme park with them. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. What about you? What between them or <laughs> I don't know anything about if you, they all have the girls they were talking about. Yeah. Huh. I feel like not that I would want who I would want to or who I, I think I would get along with. Who you think you'd get along with? Probably just because of the language barrier. Assuming there is no language barrier. Assuming there's no language barrier. Assuming, even, even with assuming even, you can speak Korean and they can speak English. Well, most of them speak English. I think I would have the probably a good time with with uh, Soo Young just because of yeah. English, and probably Tiffany just seems very ditzy, so I don't oh. think I don't think I would get along with her. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably, probably Soo Young and maybe Yuri. Ooh, Yuri, Yuri seems like she's she's very really fun and not not too. I feel like get a couple of drinks and it'll be a good time. Oh, yeah. Those are good choices. Yeah. That's a really good choice. Yeah, man. I don't know why, but K-pop and just I'm I am a huge appreciator of of Korean culture in general. Mm-hmm. The the culture, the music, mm-hmm. the food, the fashion, the, mm-hmm. the beauty aspect of it, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I feel like K-pop and Running Man in particular mm-hmm. is just it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Yeah. It's like a comfort thing for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it makes me think of like college, mm-hmm. like during simpler, simpler times. times. Yeah. You know, because like there's certain songs, like there's a certain song from Girls' Generation that I hear it and I'm immediately teleported back to when you and I were venue, venue shopping, shopping it was, for uh, a wedding. I got a girl. Or I got a guy. I got a boy. Got a boy, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself a Girls' Generation fan. What? So on. Right? That's what their fans are called. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing for you. Embarrassing for me. But yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because it just makes me think of a simpler time. Maybe it's because the songs are... Because sometimes when you look up Mm -hmm. the lyrics and you look up the translation of the lyrics as an English speaker, Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the quality of lyrics is different. Yeah. So I feel like you look up some lyrics in Korean songs... And don't get me wrong, I'm sure that there are some songs that are like yeah. not this way. But I feel like some of the songs, the lyrics are like gorgeous. Hmm. Like talking about finding myself and what a beautiful world we live in and and you know, finding my 
true self and my true love and blah 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 and it just seems like such a beautiful wonderful lyrics mm-hmm. and then you get here and it's like macaroni in a pot <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like sick sick lyrics <laughs> but and obviously yeah. i'm making a, a stark contrast of a joke yeah but i just feel like the when you look up the lyrics of some of these songs mm-hmm. they're just so like poetic Mm -hmm. compared to some of the lyrics you hear here yeah you know i feel like some of our a lot of our songs here is just like have sex do drugs fire guns you know (laughs) i feel like that's a lot bitch up yeah Yeah. (laughs) basically yeah it also depends on what songs you're listening to what artists you follow and yeah but well for the most yeah pop yeah hip-hop I feel like I'm sure if you listen to country, it's like my fences and my truck my, my and my beer and my horse. Like, dumb, fu- a- dumb motherfuckers want a key change. <laughs> That's a good song. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like uh, the the lyrics here are of a different quality. Yeah. But then again, I, yeah. you it's it's dep- if you cherry pick songs, yeah, it makes yeah. it look that way. But yeah, I, I do want to start getting into newer artists though, because like we just started listening to more Blackpink. I'm like, I can definitely get into Blackpink songs. Yeah, they have a different different flavor because you can tell like different companies have different acts and you can tell the sound of certain companies yeah like blackpink does not come from the same company as girls generation oh yeah no because they don't sound quite as no like sm has a very happy and poppy sm has a very distinct sound to it yeah why i think bubbly. The, blackpink was what yg i don't remember or something like that i don't think they're they, yeah why like you can like list off like i don't know jyp uh yg sm and a bunch of other ones like you can definitely pick out the type of style they they produce yeah so yeah i do want to start branching out to more artists and more groups and stuff like that because it's like i don't want to be stuck in our own little like early 2000s time bubble capsule. time capsule of like oh gee i only like bts <laughs> from this year to this year yeah <laughs> yeah pretty yeah. much but also if that happens i'm fine with that too. yeah but yeah, write in the comments. What do you, if you have any like artist, if you are if you are into K-pop, what artists do you listen to? What do you suggest? Yeah, and stuff because like there like when I was big into it, I had a, a whole my, again my two big were Shinwa and Boa, but I had a whole bunch of other artists that I I listened to and had a couple other songs too. So <gasps> the other thing that I think is hilarious is yeah. when you listen to like <coughs> late '90s, early 2000s K-pop. Mm-hmm. It's I just think it's fascinating how that horrendous 90s style mm. was pervasive doesn't really matter where you're from yeah america or korea the style of the 90s oh, yeah. was like yikes and if you <laughs> if you ever want to see people from another country but still plagued by that same fashion do yourself a favor and look up shinwa Usha Usha. Oh my! <laughs> That's, I think that was one of their earlier songs. Oh, oh my god. god! I think I really liked that video because they did the um, the Heody. Because what's his say? So uh, well, what's his name? Hesong. Hesong was you know he was recently like, arrested. Ooh yeah, that ooh, bad look for him. But like, like he was a you know he's talking to a black belt and he yeah. he did kicks in the performance. I'm like wow, good for you. Yeah, cool, cool. So good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, also shout out honorable mention to Kim Jong Gook's Lovable. Oh my. Oh my god. We should just make like a playlist and just make it public or something. Yeah. My yeah, feel you, good K-pop you will songs. Ne- like you will never be more confused watching an artist. That would be a funny Chung- thing. Kim Jong Gook. Show somebody or have somebody to listen to that song and be like, "Tell me what you think this man looks like." Yeah. Because I guarantee you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like an anomaly. Like I remember watching when we were big into watching uh, CS:GO. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Papa Biceps. Oh, uh, Pasha. Pasha. And it's like, what do you think this guy? He's really good at game. What do you think he looks like? It's like I think he looks like some little nerd in his mom's basement or whatever. Bowl cut. It's like, whatever the stereotype is of yeah. a gamer. Fat, bowl cut looking dude with a goatee. No, nope. like, no. This dude is jacked. He's jacked as shit. He probably puts like. Weighted keyboards as plates on his waist while he bench presses. His it. goal was to make enough money to open a gym. <laughs> Which I think he did. No, he wanted to make like a gym gamer hybrid type of location. Probably. That's yeah. why I'm I'm glad that kids are growing up well. Yeah. There's certain things that I'm glad kids are growing up with now yeah. and certain things that I'm not too glad that they are. But like one thing that I do like is that certain things that used to be like you get bullied for mm-hmm. are now like hip yeah the only fear i have is that 
it that it's just that it's hip and it'll fall off one day again. I hope that's not the I case. I hope it doesn't case but like, like gaming, gaming, listening to nerd shit. listening yeah. to music that might not be where you're from yeah. because outside of K-pop there's plenty of other music mm-hmm. out there foreign foreign for us. Yeah. But like music that's foreign to you, you know. It's fun to branch out, but it's also kind of like shitty when everyone's like mm, you're yeah. listening to something that you don't even know the words. How do you like it? It's art. It's art. I don't need to I don't need to necessarily know what they're saying to appreciate the sound of the of what they're making. Mm-hmm. If I look up the lyrics, half the time I can't fucking understand English songs here. Yeah. I the amount of times I've had to look up lyrics to songs from here and I speak that language, have <laughs> forever. And I still got to look up English lyrics. So don't, you know, miss me with that. But I don't know. It's art. You don't necessarily have to understand what they're saying to appreciate it. But yeah. if you do understand what they're saying, it also can make bring more. It can enhance it for you. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like we were kind of all over the place while still having a focus. Yeah. That's the know. name of the game, baby. I don't know. That's, that's Radcast for you. But... All I'm saying is K-pop makes me happy. Mm-hmm. And if you think that's lame, then you can suck a suck an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go ahead and rip up here. It's a good, it was a fun episode. On that note. <laughs> that was, I want to do more more shit like this on the show. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. I, I had a fun time doing this, this episode. It was a really Let's good, ask you some Star episode. Wars questions. <laughs> Let's do a mukbang. Oh. <laughs> that's another word that makes me like, ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I also don't want to make chewy noises into a yeah. microphone. But let us know in the comments. How did you enjoy this? I, I had a fun time doing this. This is a fun little yeah. change of pace for the show. So yeah. we still had a couple tangents here and there, but as is always with us. Yeah. One day we'll talk about our favorite foods from like when we went to Korea. I think we already did that, didn't we? Foods specifically? Maybe. We'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. We'll figure out what we're talking about we next got, week. We got but, all the time in the world, baby yeah, girls and boys and yeah. everybody in between. But I did like this. We got to think of more more things to do, like fun little like quizzes and. I can find, I can drum up more PTS questions if you need. <laughs> <laughs> Quiz, and you got to get a study up. <laughs> What's Yungi's blood type? <laughs> a. Maybe. I don't know. I don't Anyways. know. <laughs> What's your fucking blood type? <laughs> Newly recruited army. I don't know. <laughs> army member. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Where can they find you online? You can find me at Twitter at Dimmy D I M M M Y Y Y. You did say when you hit a like what a hundred followers on TikTok, you're gonna try to start making. Content. I never that that I never signed a contract. Goddamn! <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I had last time I looked, I had like 75 followers. I haven't posted a goddamn video. Hmm. And I'm like, I guess if I hit a hundred followers, I should probably post something. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? Yeah. <laughs> As for me, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and TikTok at Rogue Leader Drew. Thank you, everybody. I hit a ten thousand on, on TikTok. <laughs> hey! hey Thank you everybody for that. That was a really big model. And the only thing I, I told you the only thing about hitting ten thousand is like you don't see a new number until you get another hundred big follower problems <laughs> i gotta get a thousand more before i can even see a change in my follower account <laughs> it's 100 more 100 more oh i thought it was a thousand no it's 100 because point one. Oh, okay gotcha. for every hundred you get a new number math is still everywhere <laughs> the showdown might be over but math still prevails <laughs> if you listen to this on audio form please follow the feed and rate us if you're watching on youtube like comment subscribe click the bell icon in the lower right hand corner see we do things on the youtubes Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of The Radcast. We'll see you guys next time.